Hi Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and I hope you're all well and safe. You came in at the same um, level as Aquarius and Capricorn with 19 likes and um, thank you very much all. Uh, likes count and knows uh, the uh, alpha rhythm, the robot, um, that this is a well-watched channel, thank goodness. There are some funny things happening in YouTube, so I have done a video, a shout out to say thank you and to those that have not received my answers, because I got notifications or replies to videos from five months ago and three months ago this morning, to my greatest amazement. So my question is to you. I'm so, uh, sorry, but will you please make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell because something is happening in the back office that I don't understand and I can't c explain. I have mentioned it and I keep on writing um, uh, to YouTube. Why is this happening or why is that happening? What is the matter? Now, you know, um, I'm losing also members because of this, so please bear with me and show me that you are still there, because I do miss you. And I did name a couple of uh, people in the shout out, but if I haven't re re replied to you, then you at least know why. And I'm sorry for the inconvenience, and I'm sorry that you can't reach me. So if you can't reach me, or if you if you would like to get into contact with me for whatever reason, then look underneath the video, um, or in the top right hand corner, and that is where you will you can you'll be taken to the website. But underneath this video, in the description box, there is my email. So please, if you connect with me, connect through email. Then you have also evidence that you have okay now pl so please subscribe and hit that bell and if you're new uh, please subscribe and hit that bell as well or make sure that you are registered a lot of other um, um, creators um, are having the same problem as me but I don't know about replying but I know that the back office is not stable I know of one other creator that lost 200 members, boom, just like that. So something weird is happening in YouTube. <coughs> but this is your reading, I'm doing the 9 card spread. This is the Quirin card or the, um, uh, or the uh, general uh, energy, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. The three cards are surrounding the Lenormand card or the corner cards will be the clarifying card to the Lenormand and vice versa. I've also got a card from the Big Arcana from the White Witch's Tarot and from uh, Archangel Michael and the answers of the angels. <coughs> Well, um, first of all, we start off with the sun. So, although the sun might not be shining where you are, the sun is shining on you. You are in the spotlight, Aries. So, there you are in balance. You've um, or something is coming to an end, a new beginning. You've got nineteen. One and nine is ten, and ten becomes a one. So that's a new beginning. You might be traveling, you might be going on holiday, or moving home. Something is being illuminated because the moon, the sun, and the stars illuminate and give light. So they are also spotlights. So if you have a question or if you're in a situation, then something will be illuminated. So you need to do more research to, 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 uh, <coughs> to get answers to your situation or question. Now, if you want to get pregnant, it's also a very fertile time to get pregnant as the sun stands for fertility, birth, you might be hearing of a birth of a child or of a project that could be a, literally a hobby or a new job or you might be going up to the next level. 
It could also be that uh, the birth could be a new love. This could be a Leo. The Leo might have an eye on you as the sun also represents Leo. Now, you, um, the sun is warmth and the rays give uh, vitamin D and warmth to grow. So things to develop. So things are developing perhaps to the next level in a relationship, in a job. There might be a promotion. Okay, all things positive will and can come true with this card. That's the energy for your week from the 13th to the 19th. On Monday you have the Eight of Swords. You might feel stuck. Now look at this bird. You can see his wings are free. There's just by his side, his body. Usually it's depicted with a, a girl and her hands are loose. So shrug off these bandages and the blindfold. And don't just look around, but uh, in front of you, look around you turn around and look what's happening around you don't be focused on one thing be focused all around you okay and then you'll see more and then you might get that information that is or the situation or that or the question that is illuminated at this moment don't feel prisoned in come out of your head of, of course and walk through the feathers or the swords okay it's wide enough gap to walk through and you've got eight so you're in this is your money house and your power house maintain yourself in balance and in your own power you are stronger than you think now the next thing that I see is the seven of Pentacles and that is on a Wednesday you've got the seven of Pentacles and these are the meat eaters He's standing there throwing meat at them <laughs> to make them grow much faster and much quicker. Well, it does take time to um, it takes time to for things to grow and develop. Especially, we need a bit of sunshine. Okay, um, and you've got seven, so luck is on your side. So don't worry. You might be harvesting something this week and replanting for the next turn round because a farmer always plants and tells and plants and tells what you sow you will reap so it's an ongoing cycle now on friday we have the three of wands your abundance is coming in your ship is coming in look at that beautiful this could be love this could be a job this could be recognition, this could be a promotion, you name it. You really do have victory though, because on at the weekend you have the Ace of Swords. You might start a new study, but you do have victory. If you are in a judicial situation, there you are. You will get what you want and uh, uh, what you deserve, I mean, and so will the other. So don't worry. Uh, you could be also be meeting a new love, like I said. This could be a Gemini, and a Libra, or an Aquarium. Okay, Aries. Now there's no other person cards, as I can see right now. And um, uh, we're going on to the first corner card. Now, the first corner card shows us a mountain. <coughs> you don't make problems where there aren't any problems. Okay? Don't make mountains out of molehills. Um, take your time. But if you have to do, uh, a, if you have to make the deadline, yes, then you'll have to hurry up. But look at the deer. He's walking the path. You don't have to climb the mountain. So take your time. Do something in your own time. You've got tw 21, which is 3. Be creative. Okay. And you've got the 8 of Wands, the 8 of Clover. So those are the ones that fly through the sky in the tarot. Okay. So there is news coming your way. 
and things might be uh, uh, happening rapidly really quick so I hope you can manage but don't don't get um, don't get uh, your your don't get um, don't get yourself in a tiz okay because you are creative enough to make th sort things out and if not then ask for help then ask for help and see what um, um, who can help so learn to delegate to delegate work okay um, this could be cyber news um, things might be happening all at once but it could also be uh, news through email text message or a telephone call it could also be that you are traveling uh, you are traveling for business or uh, you might be going on holiday because that's what the eight of wands also represents now perhaps you might get in a tiz and then lock yourself away don't take the blindfold off because you can't see uh, what's happening or to solve the issues at hand if you you are going to hide away and walk around with blinkers victory is yours you can ask you can perhaps fly again you've got little crow sitting here you will be getting news it will be good news because that that means the victory okay so make sure that if you are traveling that you have all your papers in order now you are forewarned so now you can do something about it make sure that you know the rules where you are going about the COVID so you won't get caught out like I said something is being illuminated if you are traveling which this card also means besides the eight of wands then make sure your itinerary is to the T cross your T and dot your eyes perfectly in order your passport your inoculations or the rules of the Kovic. Then we're going into the second corner Aries and you've got 13. 13 to me is not bad luck that becomes a fall and there is proper foundations. There could be new friendships you could find out that you're pregnant again the same as the Sun a birth. This could be of a child or this could be of a project or a new relationship a new job but you could also be starting a new study. A child plays, um, learns and plays. He learns in playing. Okay, so let that inner child come out and and be more playful. Don't take things too serious. Learn, use the blocks that you already know as the, a proper foundation. Number four, and start building you've got the book there as well and you will be building your castle your dream in other words you've got the jack of swords so air signs are quite prominent in your reading so yeah, this news could also be brought by a young child a younger person than you and that is a jack of swords cyber messages or you could be meeting again um, a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarium. Wow. So news is the biz. Okay. It sounds really exciting. This could be news about a job or about a study because the swords stand for study, wisdom, gaining wisdom. They're always eager to learn okay could be a job in communication in it could also be a job in a judicial system or a municipal system or an other kind of institution like a school teaching kids All right wow exciting exciting and this will be your wish because that will bring in abundance towards you perhaps you are wishing for a child and it's coming it's coming now we're going to the third corner and that is the scythe we have the scythe you are cutting away all the BS and you're 
done with it. You've cut yourself a new path. Yes, you have with all these new beginnings. You have come out of your little shell, taken off the blindfold, and you took the action like the fire sign, and boom, you've moved on. You are harvesting. You've got two cards of harvesting in the tarot and in the linamon. You are harvesting. You are already harvesting knowledge and life experience. Remember that. But you might literally be harvesting something materialistic with durability and with for long term. An ending, a new beginning, 10, and you've got the Jack of Pentacles here. So that means long term and durability, something material. You could be meeting a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Boom, there you go. And we've got the man here, okay? Could be news about the, your boat coming in, about the new beginning. You've been creative, okay? These are cards from harvesting, planting and harvesting, okay? Now you've got the man. Perhaps you've made yourself so attractive. You've got a tan and you're happy. And tiddly dee 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 dee, you might be meeting a man on your holiday or at the beach when you're sunbathing. And you've got 28, 10 again, new beginning. So you've got a 10 here. You've got a 10 here. Uh, where else? No, that's it. But you've got two numbers. So the angels are showing you two numbers, okay? 10, 10. Well done. So that's an 11. Walk through that porthole that the angels are giving you. And you've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Hearts. This man is also, if I did an extended reading, then yes, this is the Querent card. This man is looking towards the Eight of Swords you're not seeing him and he's patiently waiting okay this man is also watching you if this is not the overall card but energy card but the querent card he's looking towards you this could be a family unit man you as a woman or a woman man this could be you if you're the man you're looking at the woman the new love of your life having children wow Okay, now we're going into um, the a big arcana card, and I love these cards, not only as tarot but as um, what you call tattoos. They uh, you can see so much into them. Well, what I'm hearing here is literally I'm hearing all eyes are on you. All these could represent ice in my mind. All eyes are on you. Do you see that? You are in the spotlight. This could be a cancer because you've got chariot and chariot represents cancer. Okay. Now, these are supposed to be the two horses or the sphinx in some decks, but it's got two hands. So the world is your oyster. There you go. The chariot also means victory. The chariot, you are the champion. You've got public or community recognition. You might be traveling and you might be going on holiday or moving home. The same as the meaning on, of the sun. So there again, it's confirming your reading, your spread. Okay, brilliant. You might get a promotion moving upwards and forwards. Okay, then we have an action card and it says, Speak up, pearls of wisdom. The pearls of wisdom, wise words, right? Like the ace of swords. You must speak your truth. It's time to speak. Don't stay quiet. If you fancy somebody, tell them. Archangel Michael asks you to speak up at this point in time. Your viewpoint needs to be heard. 
And there you go. Will you have a quarrel? Unlikely. Because you've walked away from drama and trouble and you are standing strong. You're standing in your power. Okay, you've got number eight here, but you're in the spotlight. All eyes are on you, and I didn't even connect that with the sun. Boom. So speak your truth. People will listen. If your question is they won't listen, unlikely they will. Because all eyes are on you. Now, why would I get a sentence like that in my head or in my feeling? This is the message from the angels and the divine. So open your heart, open your solar plex, right, the sun, the solar plex, and open your mind and eyes. It's right in front of you usually. Okay, take care Aries, love and light, stay safe and make sure that you are subscribed and that you are, have hit the bell on all so that you will get notified. I'm going live tonight, so I'll see you tonight, hopefully. Take care, God bless, and enjoy the week. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all, and I'll see you in the live. Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Ciao, ciao.